Hey everyone, this is Wei and uh, welcome back. So for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be sketching a vase and which is probably something you've drawn in class if you've ever uh, taken any kind of art class. It's very basic, but it's actually very useful and it's a great exercise. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Okay, so let's draw this vase. Um, so to start out, first of all, we're going to rough in this vase. Now I am using a uh, 4B pencil. So we're going to do a little kind of a cylindrical shape on the top and then we're going to go down. Now the hard, hardest part of this is probably just drawing the vase itself because it's actually really difficult to, to draw a vase um, because it's symmetrical, right? So, and it's, it's just quite difficult actually. Um, so I'm just going to rough out this shape as best I, as, best as I can. And even if it doesn't look like that shape, it's okay because as long as we, um, you know, draw in the uh, close to the reference and, you know, with the correct shading, it should look okay. So let's see how that looks. Okay, it's probably a little bit bigger than the pit on camera. All right, so now when you're sketching, um, Keep it real loose and light, especially f for this kind of stuff. Because you kind of want to get the right curves and just do multiple strokes. Um, okay, so all right, let's 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 go with that. And so looking at the vase, um, this is a little, there is a little bit of reflective. Uh, I mean, the, sur the surface is kind of reflective. So what you're seeing is actually the environment. And that's the first thing to realize that whenever you do any kind of reflective things, you know, the stuff in here is actually the environment being reflected and warped. So just keep that in mind. So let's see, let's, uh, well, let's start from straight from the top. Um, so this part right here is generally dark because it's in shadow. So I'm just gonna rough that in. And then there's a hard edge right here because it's darker right around here. Because this is the part where it dips in. Okay, so, so there's like a cavity in there. Okay, so that's just that's just a start. Um, I'm not gonna put too much detail on this right now, because I'll come back and do the uh, smaller details. But I just want to rough in some of the basic dark areas. Like right here, there's a lip right here. Right, it's dark and you kind of want to keep uh, a little bit of white in there. Okay, so I'm gonna move straight down. And then here, um, so looking at it, there's, this is where, and I'm just gonna mark some of the, the, the reflection in here. So this part is wider, lighter, right? Let's see, there's another patch here. And then there's, let's see, so a little bit, of, let's correct the shape a little bit. Because there is a little bit, kind of like a, almost like a horizon line right here. Okay, you see that little line? Okay. And you can see that in the in the reference. Okay, so this part is dark, it comes in, this is lighter. So right now I'm just kind of literally going in and just marking it up. That way I can know where to shade. Okay, and then let's see, this part is light. There's a very hot highlight right here. I'm just gonna shoot. There's another highlight here. But let's just work on this side. All right, so this is gonna be dark. So I'm just gonna go right in. Now that I marked some of the area. And you're gonna see it's a little bit messy. Right, it's a little bit lighter. But as long as you get, you know, the, the shading kind of somewhat accurate, you know, It'll look okay, even though it's messy, because we are dealing with a reflection here. So, most it's actually kind of hard to make out, anyways, right? Okay. So this is dark right here. There's a little patch, darker here, and this is a dark area. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, now this is dark. So I'm cross hatching right now, just so I can fill in some of the areas a little bit better. Okay. 
here, 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 dark, dark, dark. Okay, so we're gonna go to the bottom. Let's see, I'll push this up a little bit. Right here. Okay, now I'm just gonna redefine the line a little bit. So right here is dark, right? It's coming to the bottom. And then right here, this is the darkest part right here. So I'm just gonna, you can do this kind of to flickering, this kind of, this kind of stroke, okay? Just flick it. So you start one edge and then just kind of do that. And, you know, whenever we can, we kind of like to let the strokes, you know, put the, define it, you know, put in the shading itself, as opposed to just doing everything even and, and cross-hatching everything. If we can, you know, we can actually do that. It's, it gives it a little bit more life. Um, actually makes your drawings a lot more interesting is to see those strokes. There's a lot of, a lot of power to it. It feels lively. Okay. So now let's see. We can actually... All right, let's move up. Here, I'm, the edge right here is darker. And actually this whole area is kind of dark. It's really... All right, let's give this a nice little coat first. That way, you know, we have areas that are completely white, which will give us the contrast that we need. Okay, so checking the shape, it's actually a little bit off, but let's just go with it. See, it's really hard to do something symmetrical. So that's why you got to start lightly, and that way we can keep adjusting it. All right, so this part is darker all along the edge right here. This, let's see, there's a little bit of mark here. I can see it. Okay, so I'm just going to draw, in, draw in the, the lamp, the area, and then I'm going to shade it dark. Okay. Darker here. Let's see, this area right here is darker so right now it's just a lot of you know more um, careful careful observation and the, any little things I can pick up I'll, I'll sketch it in now this here right here it's pretty dark um, so I'm actually gonna do this it's a, it's a little bit gradation okay so I'm gonna hit those area harder this part right here is probably the darkest and then this is darker here along the edge, darker. Give it a nice curvature. Okay, so that's actually you know it's it's getting there, right? Let's adjust the shape a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna well, let's see. Right, let's make this top a little bit darker too. And this part is important because it really gives this lip right here, you know, a lot of depth just by shading it dark. It just pops out this edge right now. It looks like it's really coming forward. So now I'm going to go in and hit the areas a little bit harder. And this edge right here is dark. And as I'm hitting it harder, um, I'll turn my pencil a little bit so I get like a sharper edge so I can get a little bit more finer control. Okay, so let's see at this point. All right, I'm going to switch to um, a paper stump. And this actually works well because for vases because it will smooth things out. And at the same time, it'll give me a little bit more control than if I were like smudging it with my hand. So I can, so I'll use this to just kind of smooth things out and, you know, push in some of the dark areas and just overall give it a lot more, you know, depth to it. So right here is dark. I'll just shade that in. This is dark here. And actually this is part a lot darker too. So once it, 
you can see when it's smoother like this, and now you're feeling the shape a little bit more, right? more reflection here it's a harder edge here I'm gonna push in hard just push right into it this really helps to smooth things out and this is a little bit darker I've probably given a, a little bit more contrast than than what you see in the reference uh, it's okay because you know I kind of want to exaggerate it so you can see a little bit better too. All right, so here, same thing. I'm using this kind of stroke, so the same stroke whenever I can. That will give me a nice gradation. And then over here is darker. All right, let's smooth things out a little bit. Let's smooth this out. And it's these gradations that's going to give um, this face a lot of, you know, um, a lot of depth, you know, three-dimensionality to it. Okay, so it's getting there, right? Let's see. All right, I'm going to switch back. Switch back to um, my 4B, and I'm going to now refine the shape a little bit and also hit in some of the, the dark area. And this... And this is a stage where it's gonna improve it a lot because at the beginning it's just kind of rough, right? So now it's like kind of really darkening up some of the areas, really kind of bringing it to life. So this area is obviously too light. So I'm gonna hit it harder. Might be a little bit too, more con too much contrast. I should have gone a little bit darker here overall. So right here, edge. Trying not to get away, get in the way of the camera. Sketching is always a challenge. Okay. Let's darken this a little bit more. Here, it's a little bit darker. Turning my pencil, try to get a nice edge. Darker. Let's bring this to life even more. Make it a little bit shinier. So the more contrast uh, you do something like this, you know, the, the shinier this object will be. So this part is dark here. It's re reflecting. I don't know what kind of light source is there, but... Looks like it could be a window or something. Or uh, or some kind of soft box lighting. A studio photography with this artificial lighting. Okay, so this edge is darker here. dark here just to give it a little bit more contrast that way you can really see the highlight and then the bottom there's a highlight here that I totally miss so I'll do that I'll make this I'll make the surrounding area darker This part's darker. And then I can always go back. Um, let's say if I want to smooth it out a little bit more, I can always just go back with the stump and just kind of smooth things out a little bit more. So this would be my second pass with the stump. And you could probably only do so many passes before the paper gets all, you know, where the, the paper loses all its tooth. Turning my edge sharper. And then let's add a little bit of shadow. So the shadow, the lighting is here. So you can just by judging it, it's probably, I don't know, something like this. So it's helped to join the shadow, even though the reference doesn't have a shadow. Um, 
it's nice to draw it in. It really helps to give the uh, the vase placement. Very hard edge on the bottom. Okay, and I can actually smooth it out just so I can make things a little bit more consistent looking. Okay, so that kind of gives it in place. So at this point, um, I mean, if I wanted to, I might do this off camera. Uh, just add in, you know, a little here, here and there, just a little bit more detail. It's a little bit harder with this because I am using a 4B, so it's very soft. It's hard to get like a finer edge. But I could always switch to a, uh, like a 2B here, and then that way I can get like a little bit more, uh, yeah, a little bit more sharper point, so I can do more detail. But overall, I mean, you see, it's actually fairly easy, and these are kind of drawing. You know, if, if you look at it from far, it, it could look kind of realistic, and it's just a matter of like how much, how much work do I put in? I mean, I could go in with, with this 2B right now and really you know, fine tune it and and make it a little bit more realistic or I can just, you know, just call it done. But either way, it's just, you know, I think I kind of show you the basics of this thing. It's just, it's just a matter of where you want to push this, how far you want to push this to. Okay, so here's the final drawing for this vase. And I really pushed in hard with the 4B to get like some of the sharper lines, you know, and it really looks nice because it, it makes this uh, vase come alive and it kind of makes it more shinier than, than, than the reference, which I really like. It's, it's, you know, it's a lot more interesting than, than the reference, I think. So uh, give it a shot, see how it goes, and I will see you next time.